In this video, I'd like to talk about how to merge fleets, how to disband fleets, how to split them, and how to transfer them, plus a few other things like how to assign an admiral and how to assign a home base. So with that, let's get started. There are several great ways to select fleets to merge. One way is to hold down the shift key and click on them. And those two fleets are now selected. Another way is to click and drag a box around them, like that, and those two fleets are selected. And another way, which is good for selecting distant fleets, is to go out to the go out to the galaxy map, click on the fleet icon, and it's selected three fleets. There was another one in there I didn't see. And if I want to include that and want to make all these fleets combine, I can click on that, hold down the shift key. And then when I click merge, they will start merging. This is the merge key. And the weaker powered fleets will move to the strongest fleet. So when I click this, see they're going to move up here and merge with this guy. So that's a, a quick and dirty way to merge fleets. You can also split fleets if you want to. Just select a fleet and this little job right here, the split fleet icon, if you click that it'll split the fleet in half almost exactly or as best the game can do. Now you see you've got two fleets instead of one. You can choose the ships you want to move into another fleet using the transfer icon. So you select that and you can move a destroyer and maybe a corvette and maybe a battleship and leave the titan alone with gun and then i've got another fleet created so that's another way to, to move ships now if i was wanting to get rid of this fleet like i didn't want these, these battleships and destroyers anymore i could click on the disband fleet button click that and i'll get a warning disbanding a fleet will also disband any ships associated with this fleet if i click agree it's gone so now you might want to reduce overhead or something or the cost of maintaining the ships. That's one way to, to cut it down. Sometimes fleets just won't merge and you have no idea why. For instance, if I have these two fleets selected, the merge button is, is illuminated, but if they're separated by somebody I'm not at war with, but I don't have an open borders treaty with, then it'll say they're merging, but uh, that will not happen because I can't travel to their space. So fleets won't merge even though you don't get any warning that they're not going do that. Another thing that will keep you uh, from merging fleets is different drive types or different types of fleets. So you can see I've got two selected here and if you check the tool tips they'll usually give you an idea of what's going on. Like this says there must be two military fleets of the same ship class. That's not the case in this example so therefore those two fleets will not merge. There's other things too that will prevent you from merging fleets. The fleet's being upgraded, it won't merge. If the fleet's being repaired, it won't merge. Another thing is if merging fleets goes over your command limit, they won't merge. If these were fleets that were mergeable, they would merge because I'm used, I've only got six command points here. I've only got 18 out of 210. So merging these would be no problem because it's not going over that 210 number command limit. Some things that do not prevent you from merging fleets is if a fleet needs to be upgraded or if it needs to be repaired, that doesn't matter the game will still let you merge them another problem is you may be clicking you could click the transfer ships button instead of the merge fleet button and that will just separate the ships rather than giving you more you can assign admirals to fleets just select the fleet click this empty portrait icon and you'll get a list of admirals some of them will be available if they're not available you can always recruit one that want to guy that's aggressive I could recruit him anyway anybody who's available will show up as available just click it and it's automatically assigned to your fleet also home base it's kind of important because if you go through an FTL if FTL emergency retreat you'll go to the home base so you want something that's close by just clicking that gives you a pop-up list and generally a good idea to click when it's close by close to your base close to your area of operations so this is a relatively short video, but I tried to make it quick and to the point. So if you liked it, please like it on your way out. And uh, we'll see you again next time. It's Rich Miller Strategy Games. Bye.